yard. Got Steve loading some stuff up. I've come for some gravel. Van, ev every time I have it valeted, this is what it, this is what it's like. <coughs> <coughs> but yeah, I've not been in this yard before. Uh, I'm also over Mexico. It's a great day, Monday. Not having a repeat of last week, uh, so we're gonna gonna get cracked on. Energy drink. Uh, so that's it. Autumn gold we're getting for round here. But yeah, look at it. Looks brilliant now, doesn't it? You see with dust on wheels that this is gonna look look great. So yeah, hopefully this week is gonna be a lot better. Uh, I think it will be. Got some good jobs starting straight out there. Get it done. So this is Bolton job uh, Monday afternoon, and it's it's sorted already. There were just a bit bit more to do on the path, so I'll take you in and show you this one. This one's gone smooth. To do, to do. This is a Marshall's job, so on register we registered in installers. We um, um, got to have a, a certain spec, which you have to do. Uh, which we we did anyway. Um, probably, actually, we went over that sort of spec. But the thing is, we when you do something with us with this, it's a ten year guarantee, and it's a proper guarantee. Like, he'll, if there were ever something, the assessor Neil had come out and he'd take parts of it up to check this spec, which is two hundred mil, a hard car membrane, your screed, and that all compacted in layers, which you should be doing anyway. But clearly. As we all know, that ain't what most people are doing. So I'll block paper, it's all, all of it shop like that. It, it, it shouldn't do that. Shouldn't do that, especially in like 12 months. But really pretty basic on it, to be honest. This were a garage base, pebble dash, then garage sections, asbestos roof. It got shutter all that beforehand. There were a wall here. <coughs> it might have been here. Original concrete path. We connected up to that level, so that sort of came. That came down all this wall. That came down. I think all that some weird flags here, flags, and then it went down onto some heavy duties that middle, and then there. So that were just all ripped out, diggering, ripped out. Uh, twenty, thirty ton of stuff away. So it's all come back in. I think we had, we had thirty ton of stone in. Plus six tonner brick sand foot screed blocks, eight packs at one point. So you're talking these sort of jobs you can be getting on for 60, 70, 100 tons of stuff you've moved in and out. So this is, it's, it's a lot of work, a lot of work. But that's just, that was just a block paved section. He's having a, a workshop here, so that's got a cable fitted underground. We did that, so it's all he done. Um, master the Tegulus autumn blend blocks, large size. It's a bit more consistent using the same size, really, because it's not a mega old house, so I won't, I won't use a trio set, three different sizes. But these are things you've got to think about, really, which would make a difference, I think, anyway. Uh, there, a Tobermore key curb, a Tegulus, because the proper corny units. Anyone who's bought not uh, bought them know why people try making their own. Or another thing they normally do is like the front will be like that, so that one, and then they'll just start with side ones here. It just it's just it looks terrible. And these are all little touches we have. Uh, the the path was straight originally, but his uh, customer had a, he'd drawn an arc. He had a little rope on a on a pin, and he'd drawn that. But if we come up here, go stay for some later today. This is a really good thing that Dean, which is tall one, so he did this lat, we drilled an hole in it. I think he set his pin in. I can't see it anymore. But he had his, his med, that and like a rod, had his pin set, and just every single block around that edge, just going along with rod, so it's perfect that curve. Probably see. Probably can't really see. I might take um, take it to show you a bit better. Let's, let's, let's see. 
might fall off. <laughs> so, oh no, no, I've pressed some out. I don't know if you can see. It is a very perfect curve, that, which is one of the main. I'm not a fan of curves, really. I have more of an angle sort of thing, but it actually works very right well. Water down into tree pit and down into here, so it's sort of like, a, it's got no air cause, it's like a, a natural sort of drainage really, which we have in um, them shrubs and that, that'll probably work out right to be honest. Intentional. Yeah, there, there's a few curves here. That other way. And it's just blocked into there, it's been a perfect spot for his little trailer that actually, just to pop up there. But that was an old salt glazed gully and bend were just solid and we must have been it must have been like it for like 30 years to do what it did because it were backed up all the way down to here. So we had to dig it all out, Curtis dug like a bit of grave out by the time we were done. Take it out when you went plastic, bend, bottle trap, because you should know with these, like a lot of them are combined systems, so when you are breaking into drainage and you put traps on them, you get smells coming back up, which is when stuff stinks, that's what's happened. They've just bodged it, like. So, and that's it. So we're over at Kimberworth. Dean is not wet. We've all had this sort of COVID thing, or whatever it is, cold. So Dean's woke up this morning not feeling right. He's done, finished this off, and he says, I better go get some rest. So Curtis and Ben have gone over to Kimberworth with me, with me dad. No, Curtis has gone over to Kimberworth with me dad and Ben's already there. Chad's still fishing. He's not actually, I just rang him. He's at home pointing. So I'm going to say he's going to get us into work. So yeah, that's it. Might get some bits over there. That's it for this one on a Monday. Starting off well, really. Getting. I've been to two, one other job. Got it started. See customer, audit skip, that's ready to go. And uh, what are you fucking laughing for? You're smiling all the time, but <laughs> yeah, he's sat there laughing for it. <laughs> yeah, funny. Uh, that one, I've got to go to Mexbra, to this other job, but these are really good composite, composite decking, porcelain, two types of porcelain on one in one, that'll be a bit different. But we'll make it look good. Uh, artificial grass. So that's next two. Um, the other one's nearly done as well. Artificial grass tool levels. I'll explain more when we reveal that one. But that's been a that's been a tour of that. So
Arif Paving, another pickup. Uh, I went yesterday uh, for some. Yesterday, I got three different types of porcelain: charcoal edging, uh, some white, some grey. And I've just come back for some land ivory with charcoal edging as well. That's for other job. This one is a very, really good little uh, combo. Actually, it's actually one that's on display, which I've always liked. But we'll put his own little twist on it. So yeah, I'll try and get some more bits today. I think I went half asleep last time. You weren't that good with the Yeah, yeah. I would try to hold this in, you know what I mean? Yeah. Really pulled, like, yeah. and then I thought yeah. I better not do all that because it's messing with right, Tom. tolerances just... at the machine, isn't it? Right. Can you just come down a bit, just a bit? That's it today, that's it today. Yeah. 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 Do you have to do those tires as I can? Yeah, well, I'll train you as active as you can, yeah. Just flares the back up. Yeah. Air shaped. But I just smell a bit of a rat, to be fair. Yeah. Because there was about, what, there must have been about. 60 apartments, probably more, and the builder built the shell and then went bust. Right. But. Yeah. So it's end at vlog now. Um, we've had two jobs of it lined this week, and um, we've started another two lovely projects as well. They're really nice. Um, it's been it's flow to be honest. The last one was crazy. It just it felt like it was never going to end. But yeah, that's this one. I'm going to a networking event now. I've, if you've seen some, if you've seen some on page on Facebook, you'll have seen some stuff about it because I couldn't get any show. Couldn't get any shoes, so I'm a size 14 and 13. So if anyone's got massive feet, you know how much of a nightmare it is. So yeah, that's the end of this one. Uh, subscribe, it is growing slowly. I wish it were faster, but keep liking, subscribing, and uh, following us. Mm -hmm.